Welcome to Roanoke County Business Partners. In today's show, we'll reflect on what took place in Roanoke County in 2016, and we'll take a look forward to hear what is to come in 2017. Welcome to Roanoke County Business Partners. Jill Loop, the Director of Economic Development for Roanoke County, joins us today to talk about what's been going on in 2016. Jill, thanks for joining us. Thank you. This has been a really active year for the county, a lot of exciting projects. Um, the first one that we'd like to talk about is some of the redevelopment projects that have been going on with county properties. It's been a very busy year, Jessica, with uh, redevelopment projects. In particular, the county has sold four publicly owned buildings in the last year. Uh, it represents about $15 million of new investment in the county and the creation and retention of 120 new jobs. Uh, the first project was the 419 Library Building and probably the most visible because it's on the 419 corridor. We sold that building this year to American Healthcare and they're going to redevelop that property and retain 50 jobs here in the county. So we're very excited to see that uh, property moving forward. The other library that we sold was the Venton Library. Um, that's going to a McAdoo's restaurant and they're going to invest about a million dollars in renovation uh, work at that building and put more people to work in the town of Venton. We also had two school buildings that transferred during the year. Uh, one was the Roland E. Cook building in the town of Venton and they're going to create about 17 loft apartments with this redevelopment project. It is based on historic tax credits so it's going to take a while for that project to get completed but probably will be open in the springtime. Uh, the William Byrd property is the one that we're currently working on. It transferred to Waukesha Development and they're going to create up to 80 new uh, apartments, one, two, and three bedroom. And again, that's an historic tax credit project. We've been working on a lot of redevelopment work here lately and uh, it's really paying off dividends. I think that the objective of creating new taxable investment in the county is, is working. And then something else that's been getting a lot of attention re recently is Explore Park. What's, what's been going on with that? Explore Park has been uh, very exciting for us as well. You know, it's 1,100 acres with three miles of shoreline on the Roanoke River. And we have taken over the lease of the property and the marketing of it. And we completed a master plan this year for Explore Park. It took about six months to complete that plan. And we're now marketing for new business investment in the park. We've got an RFI out on the street where we're asking for interested businesses to respond and show their interest to the community that they would like to potentially evaluate locating an explore park. And what we're looking for are adventure-based tourism operators, whether it be zip lines, canopy tours, yurts, uh, campgrounds, cabins. We're looking at um, putting a lodge facility, a bike park, an in-river kayak, Park. So there's a lot of excitement going on right now, and we're going to continue marketing for that. So this year, Roanoke County engaged a consultant to look at the 419 area. What's been going on with that project? So we launched a 419 corridor planning study in September, so we're about four months into this process. We hired a consultant, Stantec Urban Places Group out of Boston, and they've been working with us to design plans for the future. What we're looking at is making it more pedestrian friendly to create a town center feel along the, the corridor itself, and also working with the community to see what they would like to see at Tanglewood and along 419. In particular, we've had lots of community meetings, citizen engagement, uh, we've had a design charrette, and um, moving forward, we're going to have transportation plans presented as well. But at the same time we launched the study, of course, Tanglewood Mall sold. So we are now working uh, very diligently with our consultants and with Blackwater Resources, the new owner of the mall, to look at how we can work together in the future and create the town center that we have decided we wanted. So a couple months ago, you and I spoke about the Woodhaven properties as they had just recently sold. What's been going on with that project? So as you know, we've created the Western Virginia Regional Industrial Facilities Authority to jointly acquire and develop land for industrial use. Uh, so six local governments in the Roanoke Valley came together to form the authority, and three of the six actually came together to buy the Woodhaven Road properties. That would be Roanoke City, Roanoke County, and the city of Salem. So what we were looking at is creating larger industrial tracts of land to market. So 
in excess of 100 acres was the goal and we are uh, now in the process of selecting an engineer to help us create a master plan for that property and moving forward we will be engaging the community and nearby citizens to help us shape the, the future of that property. Thank you Jill for joining us and giving our viewers a glimpse into what's been going on in 2016. It's definitely been a very busy year for the county. And thank you all for joining us and we'll be back in a moment. The Roanoke County Economic Development Department has launched Site Selector, a new online commercial real estate search database. Site Selector can be found on the Roanoke County Economic Development website under the Sites and Buildings menu at yesroanoke.org. It provides users with a one-stop shopping experience when researching properties. While the application functions much like popular websites such as Zillow, LoopNet, and others, Site Selector provides much more advanced data on business properties that includes but is not limited to property reports, tax maps, demographic reports, business summary reports, site maps, and much, much more. Learn more about Site Selector by visiting the help section that features a video overview and instructions on how to use the site at yesroanoke.org. Welcome back to the show. I'm here with Thomas Gates, Roanoke County Administrator, to look, take a look forward into 2017 for Roanoke County. Tom, thanks for joining us. Happy to be here. And Jill has told us a little bit about what's been happening in 2016, some of the big projects, and so we'd like for you to give our viewers an overview of what might be happening in 2017 on projects like Explore Park 419, the Woodhaven properties, and broadband. Sure. Um, so let's start with Explore Park. Uh, as uh, I'm sure Jill mentioned, we completed a master plan uh, this year. Uh, I think the, probably the best master plan that's ever been produced uh, for Explorer Park. It really has something for uh, everyone, people who are in this community and, and are looking for uh, an exciting opportunity um, to enjoy the outdoor uh, environment and also for people who would like to visit and experience a little uh, destination tourism. So we're excited about the master plan. Now, of course, the master plan cannot really be carried out with the without the necessary infrastructure in the park. So this year, we're really going to focus on building infrastructure into the park, primarily water and sewer. We're talking about opportunities to extend broadband into that area. Um, but uh, we're really getting the park ready for investment. Uh, the other thing that we're doing that's pretty significant this year is we have put out a request for information, or essentially, uh, receiving information from individuals who would be interested in partnering with us from the private sector in the development of the park. So I think there's a lot of big things uh, up for Explorer Park this year. And then 419 is something else that we've been following over the last several months as that study has been underway. Can you tell us a little bit about what might be happening with that? Well, forward? we have, uh, as, you, as you point out, we've been underway for some time now with the uh, 419 Town Center study. And um, we've had any number of uh, civic engagement or community engagement opportunities for people to come out and talk about really what they'd like to see in, uh, in the, the Tanglewood and 419 area. Uh, so we're excited about that. Now on January 4th, we'll have another community meeting to talk specifically about transportation issues. And I'm sure that'll engender a lot of interest from our community because there's a lot of concerns about congestion and traffic in that area. And then by uh, spring, we hope to wrap up the master planning process and we'll carry that to the Board of Supervisors and talk to them about where we think we ought to go from there. And then what about the, um, the sale of the Tanglewood Mall? What is that what does that look like? What is well, as you know, the mall was sold earlier uh, this year, and um, we have been working with the new company that owns it, Blackwater Resources, to really try and shape the uh, the future of the mall into something that we think is uh, consistent with what our community is saying through the master planning process and something that will uh, add value to uh, to our community. So uh, we've had a very good working relationship with Blackwater Resources uh, so far, and we expect that will continue. Great. And then Woodhaven Properties, Jill told us that those were, they acquired over 100 acres this past year. What is the vision for that property going forward? Well, this is a very unique and interesting project. It's the first major project that was accomplished by the Western Virginia Regional Industrial Facilities Authority. And as I'm sure you know, uh, it is a, a partnership between Roanoke County, Roanoke City, and the City of Salem. And our interest there is really to take that gateway site, that site that is, sits at the intersection of uh, I-81 and 581, and produce a, an economic development project there that speaks to the quality of our community. So uh, 
uh, we're hope, very hopeful for some new industries, some high-paying jobs, and really make a statement about what Roanoke Valley is, uh, is like at the same time to those who travel in and out of Roanoke Valley. So uh, it's a, I think it's a great opportunity for us to work together and to continue to promote economic development. Um, in the upcoming year, uh, or in January, uh, late January, early February, we will uh, engage the community again in some discussions about what they'd like to see. And so we'll uh, plan and, and hold a series of community meetings. And then the three partners in the uh, project will get together and we'll continue to move it forward. It requires still some rezoning and those sorts of things that'll have to come back through the Board of Supervisors. And I'm hopeful by mid-year we'll have a very solid plan for um, for the Woodhaven property, that which, which uh, means we can in turn start to market it. And then another regional project that's been happening in different phases is broadband expansion, and Roanoke County just approved that. And so what what's going on with that project, and what will happen in 2017? Well, the board uh, the board authorized the county to uh, to proceed with its uh, its uh, role in the broadband authority, and so early uh, in this in 2016, uh, we uh, we let some uh, bonds and. Uh, provided funding for the county to expand the broadband fiber in Roanoke County, about 25 miles, primarily located along transportation corridors. Uh, very late in 2016, uh, the contract was awarded, and uh, so now we are in the process of uh, preparing for construction. Uh, we hope construction for broadband in the county will start probably in the February time frame and uh, be complete around summer. Well, it sounds like 2017 is going to be another busy year for the county. Thank you so much for joining us and giving our viewers a little information about what's to come. And thank you all for joining us. And if you need more information on economic development activities in Roanoke County, visit our website, yesroanoke.org. The Roanoke County Economic Development Department, in partnership with the City of Roanoke Economic Development Department, organizes a wide variety of free workshops for businesses and entrepreneurs. Whether you have a new business idea or have been in business for years, there is sure to be a workshop that matches your needs. Workshops include, but are not limited to, marketing, finance, apprenticeship programs, cybersecurity, programs to cut your business's electric bill, entrepreneurship, and much more. If you would like to learn more, please contact Jessica Fintel at 540-772-2185 or email jfintel at roanokecountyva.gov. Thank you for joining us for Roanoke County Business Partners. If you have any questions about this show, want to start a business, or need business assistance, please contact the Roanoke County Economic Development Office at 540-772-2069 or email jbrinchick at roanokecountyva.gov and you can always visit our website at yesroanoke.org.